Good morning, students. In previous video, we have seen regarding shear. What do you mean by shear? Next is the different types of shears we have, and what is the how we are going to provide the shear reinforcement. So let us solve some numerical problems on the shear. So let us see one problem. So we have one RC beam which has an effective depth that is small d is equal to 500 mm and a breadth of 350 mm that is b is equal to 350 mm. It contains four bars of 25 mm dia that is this is the area of steel AST. If FCK is equal to 20, concrete is 20 and uh, F of I is 415 Newton per mm square. Next is calculate the shear reinforcement needed for a factored shear force of 350 kilonewton. So how much shear reinforcement we have to provide? So that has to be calculated. So we may have two types of problems in this case. One is that shear force will be given to us and we have to calculate the shear reinforcement. Another thing is that uh, shear uh, reinforcement and sections and all everything will be given to us based on that how much factored shear force our section can carry so that may be asked so these two types of problems we may have so let us calculate now what is the shear reinforcement required for a given factored shear force for different grades of steel and concrete in this they have asked if you are going to design the vertical stirrups, how much shear reinforcement has to be provided? If you are going to provide two tensile bars uh, which are bent up at 45 uh, degrees, then next is inclined stirrups at an angle of 60 degrees. If you provide in this case, how much it has to be provided? If in this case, how much it has to be provided? And if in this case, how much it has to be provided? So let us start now with the first case that is if you provide the vertical stirrups. So D is 350 mm, D is effective depth 500 mm, FCK concrete grade is 20 Newton per mm square, FCK is 415 Newton per mm square. Then next is area of steel. So they have given 4 bars of 25 mm dia that is pi by 4 into D square multiplied by 4 bars we have so therefore area of steel will be 1964 mm square this is the area of steel which is being provided the next is uh, we will take first case that is if you are going to provide the vertical stirrups how much it has to be provided the next is we will try to calculate the nominal shear stress tau v that is equal to vu by b into d where Vu is nothing but the factored shear force and B, are, B and D are nothing but the dimensions. Vu given is 350 into 10 raised to 3 divided by B is 350, D is 500. If you calculate, it will be 2 Newton per mm square. This is nothing but the nominal shear stress. So, and it has to be checked with tau C max. So tau C max we are going to get it as 2.8 Newton per mm square. So let me show you how we are going to get this. So uh, if you refer this IS code that is clause 40 they have given limit state of collapse. In this they have given nominal shear stress tau V is equal to Vu by B into D. So just now by using this formula itself we have calculated the nominal shear stress. So this is for uniform depth in beams if it is varying this formula has to be used then next what happens is that this has to be checked uh, what you can say here they are given under no circumstances even with shear reinforcement shall the nominal shear stress in the beam tau v exceed tau c max if this is the case we have to redesign the section if tau v if it is going to exceed the tau c max then we have to revise the section then next is uh, tau c max so how we are going to get this tau c max they are given in table number 20 so table number 20 is here that is maximum shear stress tau c max so our grade is m20 so tau c max value will be 2.8 
so that is what I have shown here 2.8 tau c max is 2.8 it is what you can say greater than 2 newton per mm square so therefore we need not worry we can proceed further if we are getting 3 newton per mm square for example that will be greater than 2.8 then next what happens is that we have to redesign this section so that would have been the case but as it is less so therefore no problem we can proceed further then next we have to calculate the percentage of steam that is AST by VD multiplied by 100 so AST is 1964 B is 350 D is 500 multiplied by 100 so we will get around 1.12 percentage this is nothing but percentage of steel what we have then next is based on the percentage of steel we have to calculate the tau c value so how we are going to get this tau c value we will again refer the is code so here they are given design shear strength of concrete tau c our concrete grade is m20 and here they have given the percentage of steel AST by uh, BD into 100. So just now we have calculated percentage of steel and we know the concrete grade based on the we are going to get the value. So if you see uh, a percentage of steel is 1.12. So if it is 1.12 means somewhere here between this and this we will get and ours is M20 grade of concrete. So 1.1 to somewhere 0.62 to 0.67. If we are going to interpolate, we are going to get this value. That is tau c is equal to 0.63. It is between 0.62 to 0.67. If you interpolate, you will get value as 0.63 Newton per mm square. So if you see, we have to compare tau v whether it is greater than tau c. If it is greater than tau c, we have to provide the shear uh, reinforcement. If tau v, if it is less than tau c, for example, if this is the case, tau v less than tau c, the next is we have to provide the minimum shear reinforcement. But our case is this tau v is greater than tau c, so we have to design the for the shear reinforcement. So now let us assume two legged 8 mm diameter bars. So we'll assume 8 mm diameter bar. So let us calculate the area of steel of this 8 mm dia bar that is 5 by 4 into d square 8 square as we have 2 left so therefore it is 2 so it will be 100 mm square. The next is we have to calculate this VUS that is equal to the shear that is to be resisted. So VU minus tau c into b into d. VU is nothing but the factored shear force we have minus tau c into b into d this is nothing but the shear resisted by the concrete so this is nothing but the total shear minus shear resisted by the concrete so if you subtract so you will get value of vus so this much shear has to be resisted by the shear reinforcement what we are going to provide so therefore vu is 350 into 10 raised to 3 minus tau c into b into d already we have calculated if you substitute we will get VUS value as 239 kilo Newton. So this much shear has to be resisted by the steel what we are going to provide here now. So therefore uh, the formula will be somewhat like this if you refer here they have given. So design for the shear reinforcement when tau V exceeds tau C we can provide either vertical syrups, bent up bars or we can provide for inclined stirrups right so therefore just now we have used this formula shear reinforcement shall be provided to carry shear equal to vu minus tau c into b into d so this formula itself we have used so what value you got vus for that we are going to provide the shear reinforcement if it is a vertical stirrup this formula has to be used if it is inclined stirrup this formula if it is bent up bar this formula has to be used so now we are calculating for first case that is vertical stirrups so therefore this formula we are going to use so here in this case if you see vus is equal to 0.87 f of i into asv into t divided by sv so already we know this vus next is we are we are going to calculate this sv so all the details regarding this formula they have given here sv is nothing but the spacing of the stirrups or bent up bars so therefore now SV will be equal to same formula 
so it was given somewhat like this that is vus is equal to this pointed sign f of i asv into t divided by that is uh, sv that given so if you cross multiply you'll get this so therefore sv is equal to 0.87 f of i is 415 area of steel that is uh, what can say shear steel that is uh, 100 mm square the next is uh, d is 500 divided by vus that is nothing but the shear that has to be resisted by the steel that is 239 so if you calculate we are going to get it as 75.5 mm yes is nothing but the spacing of the vertical stirrup so as it is a distance we are going to get answer in mm the next this has to be checked with the minimum stirrup spacing so minimum stirrup spacing we have certain criteria these are the criteria what we are going to check one is just now we have calculated S V is equal to 75 mm so minimum of all these four criteria we are going to provide so second case is that 0.75 d d is nothing but the effective depth if we calculate uh, take uh, d 500 it will be 375 mm next another criteria is it should not be greater than 300 mm or based on the norm, uh, minimum shear reinforcement formula is SV minimum is equal to 0.87 f of i to SV divided by 0.4 of B. So if you substitute this value, we are going to get answer as 257 mm. So out of these four criteria, minimum we are going to provide. So if you see minimum is how much? 257, 300, 375, 75. So 75 is the minimum value. So therefore what we do, we are going to provide to let 8 mm dia bars about 75 mm center to center. So, this is the case when you are going to provide the vertical stirrups. For example, if you are going to provide the bent up bars now. So, second case is if you are going to provide the bent up bars. Then, next what happens is we have to calculate now area of this bent up bars. So, what happens is that if you see the figure here at the bottom, we have four bars. So, what they have done is they are going to provide bars somewhat like this. Two bars they are going to go straight, two bars will be bent up like this. So, therefore, we have to calculate what is the area of this bent up bars. So, many bars are bent up, two bars in the question they have given. So, area of uh, what you can say one bar we have to calculate multiplied by two. So, they have given two bars of 25 mm dia. So, therefore, pi by 4 into 25 square multiplied by 2, it will be 982 mm square. Then next is at what angle it has to be bent up at an, at an angle of 45 degrees. Again, let us calculate the percentage of steel. So now the percentage of steel, it is going to vary based on the percentage of steel provided. So therefore, so 982 divided by B into D multiplied by 100. So you'll get PT value as 0.56. So based on this PT value and based on uh, grade of concrete we are going to calculate or we are going to get the value of uh, tau v so how we will get tau v let us see now this is you can see <coughs> tau v it is uh, 2 newton per mm square it is less than 2.8 newton per mm square already we have calculated this the next is tau c value based on percentage of steel we are going to calculate the uh, based on percentage of steel and grade of concrete. It is 0.56 and uh, M20. It is 0.56 and M20 somewhere here. Uh, 0 0.48 to 0 0.456 we have. So if you are going to interpolate, we will get answer as nearly 0.5 Newton per mm square for a PT of 0.56 percentage of steel. So if you see compare this tau v, tau v is 2, tau c is 0.5. So tau v is greater than tau c, therefore shear reinforcement is required. We have to design for the shear reinforcement. Then next is, <coughs> we will try to calculate how much shear reinforcement has to be provided. So what we will do, total shear force minus of the shear provided by the concrete, shear capacity of the concrete. So 350 is total shear minus of tau c into b into d, tau c is 0 0.5, b into d. So, we'll get answer as 262.5 kilo newtons. So, this much of uh, shear that has to be resisted by the steel. Then next is shear resistance for the bent up bars. 
so for this also they have given us the formula that is you can see here so for the belt up bars again for single bar or single group of parallel bars all belt up at same cross section so here they have given the formula that is pointed sin f of i kc into sin of alpha where alpha is nothing but the angle between the inclined syrup or belt up bars but not less than 45 degrees so therefore that will substitute 45 degrees we have so 0.87 f of i into ac so we will get answer as 250.87 kilo newton so this much shear has to be resisted by the steel now the next another clause we have this is the clause what we have the shear that has to be resisted by the belt up bar it should not be greater than half of the total shear uh, half of the total shear this is nothing but if you provide belt up bar it can take 250.87 but clause is that it should not be greater than half of vus total like uh, half of this value what we have half of this uh, 262 so therefore half of 262 is how much 132 half of 262 it is nothing but 132 kilo newton so 132 kilo newton will be resisted by what you can say concrete uh, not concrete so this uh, belt up bars so the remaining 132 what we have it has to be resisted by the stirrups so that is vus will be equal to 262 minus of 132 that is 131 kilo newton we have so now let us assume 8 mm dia bars so therefore ASC will be equal to 5 by 4 into 8 square into 2 that is equal to 100 mm square so based on this if we calculate the spacing that is 0 0.87 f of y into ASV into d divided by VUS so VUS is nothing but now 131 so if we calculate you will get spacing as 137 mm so we will check for minimum spacing SV yes, one case is 137 next case is 0.75 d that is 375 or 450 mm and another one is minimum criteria that is 0.87 f of 5 into ASV divided by 0.4 of b if you substitute you will get it as 257 so out of this all these four criteria we are going to provide for minimum shear reinforcement so what we can do we can provide this so two legged 8 mm dia about 130 mm center to center as we are getting value as minimum value as 137 so we can round it off to some to certain regular value that is 130 we are going to provide so we are going to provide 2 legged 8 mm dia about 130 mm center to center the next is we are going to see if we are going to provide the inclined stirrups so again tau v it will remain same 2 newton per mm square tau c will also remain same 0.63 vus also will remain same that is 239 so only this uh, spacing what we are going to provide so only that is going to change so let us see this formula what they have given so for inclined stirrups or ser uh, series of bent up bars this formula has to be used so here we are going to have alpha sin alpha plus cos of alpha so this formula we are going to use so you can refer here that is sin alpha cos alpha 0.87 f of i into es into d divided by us so same thing if you substitute this alpha value if you substitute it as 60 degrees so we will get answer as 100 mm center to center so you can provide 2 leg 8 mm dia about 100 mm center to center with inclination of 60 degrees with inclination of 60 degrees what we can do we can provide the shear uh, what you can say reinforcement So that was one of the problem. So let's, uh, next uh, let us see another problem. So we have a beam of 250 mm wide and uh, that is D and effective depth small d is equal to 400 mm is provided with area of steel 942 mm square in tension phase and provided shear reinforcement that is two legged 8 mm dia about 160 mm center to center determine the shear strength of the section use fck is equal to 20 newton per mm square f e is equal to 415 grade of steel so compared to the previous problem what is the change now here in this we have to calculate or determine the shear strength of the section in the previous case shear force was given to us based on that we had designed this shear reinforcement now shear reinforcement is given to us now we have to calculate what is this shear strength of the section 
reverse of that. So let us start now. B they have given 250, D they have given 400. Then next is that they have given 2 lakh 8 mm dia about 160 mm center to center. So therefore pi by 4 into d square that is 8 square multiplied by 2. Why? Because it is 2 leg. So therefore shear steel is 100 mm square. So area of tensile steel provided is, provided is 942 mm square. FCK and F of 5 values are already given to us. So now next we will try to calculate the PT that is percentage of steel that is AST by BD multiplied by 100. So we will get answer as 0.942 based on grade of concrete and percentage of steel we will get value of this tau C that is 0.61 Newton per mm square. So we will get we can refer this uh, table that is uh, PT is 0 0.942 0 0.9 means somewhere here we will get M20 is 0.62. So therefore nearly it is point if you interpolate we will get answer as 0 0.61 Newton per mm square. The next is shear strength of the concrete that is tau C into B into D. This much is the shear capacity of the concrete section. So tau C into B into D. Tau C is 0 0.61, 250 into 400. So 61 kilo Newton. So this much shear is being resisted by the concrete. Then next we have to calculate how much shear is resisted by the steel, shear steel. That is shear by steel F. This also we know formula already we have seen in the I squared they have given 0.87 F of I into ASV into D divided by SV. So in the previous case, same formula what we did, we took SV here, V S here. That's it. That is the change. So therefore 0.87 F of I into ASV into D divided by SV. So therefore U V U S is equal to 90.26 kilo newton. So this much is the shear resisted by the steel ups. And this much is the shear resisted by the concrete. So therefore if you add up the sh shear resisted by concrete and steel, we will get the total shear resisting capacity of the section. Therefore total shear strength of the section that is equal to VUC plus VUS that is equal to 60 plus 90.26. We will get answer as 151.26 kN. Then next is we can check for tau c max. Tau, t, tau c max is 2.8 newton per mm square. V maximum will be equal to what you can say tau c max into B into D. So therefore it is 250 kilo newton. So V max is greater than V u. Hence what section we are going to provide is safe. So therefore the shear strength of the section is 151.26 kilo newton. So this is nothing but 151.26 kilonewton. This is nothing but the shear strength of the section.